I have a Motorola One Fusion Plus here. I'm going to show you how to insert the SIM card and SD card. We're also going to go ahead and look at the mobile settings on the SIM card once we insert it. And we're also going to format the SD card as well. Okay. First thing is go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. And what you want to do is go ahead and eject the uh, SIM tray slash SD card tray right here. Uh, the SIM tray ejection tool. It's actually right here. It comes in this little box right here. Okay, if you don't have one laying around, you can always use the different phones uh, SIM ejection tool. You can even use like a thin like um, paper clip or a bobby pin or a back of a stud earring. That'll work as well. Anyway, just look at the top of the phone and locate the hole. And then we can see the hole right here. Let me go ahead and put the needle in there. And then what I'm going to do is press down, press some pressure, and the lip is going to pop out like a little bit right here. And now you can go ahead and just pull this out. Go ahead and pull the rest out. Now pulling it out, I'm going to pull out just like this and I'm going to leave it just like this. Now we have your um, your SD card slot here and your SIM card slot here. Okay, in regards to the uh, SD card, we want to put it in basically like upside down. It's just going to go in there nice and perfect. You should hear like a little snap. So let me go ahead and put this in there. All right, there you go. It's nice. It's in there. And now in regards to the SIM card, if you look down here in the bottom left-hand side, there's a little diagonal slit, and you can see the diagonal slit on the bottom right-hand side of my SIM card, and it's only going to go in one way, okay? You can only put the SIM card in one way, so you can't really make a mistake. So we're going to go ahead and line that up, and I'm going to go ahead and press in and make sure everything is nice and flush. Oops. Make sure it's nice and flush, and make sure if you tip it over, it's not going to fall out. Now go ahead and grab your phone. It doesn't matter if it's uh, on or off. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this in really slowly. Right now it says uh, no SIM card, but let's see if it finds it right away. Let me slide this in. Give it one second. It says no SIM card still. Give it one second. Oh, it found something that said no service. Now it says uh, T-Mobile, which is my carry here in the U.S., and I can see my reception bars right there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check the settings really quickly, our mobile settings. So just go into your settings, and then you want to tap on network and internet here on top, and then you want to tap on mobile network right there. And you may want to look through this. You can see by default they turn my roaming off. Some of you guys may get charged or only have a certain amount of roaming, but I always leave mine on because I have unlimited roaming. And then you can go and check out the other settings down here. Preferred network type, you can see I'm on a LTE uh, right there. So everything looks good with the SIM card now. Let's look at the uh, let's format the uh, SD card now. So let's go back into the settings. You can swipe up the middle of the screen like that and look for your settings app right there. Settings and then from here what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says storage. Tap on storage and then under portable storage you should see your SD card on here. If it's not showing up on here then you need to reinsert your SD card or maybe it's corrupt or whatnot. Anyway, I have a Samsung SD card in here. You can see right here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And then uh, this device doesn't support this Samsung SD card. Okay, no problem. We're going to go ahead and click on Setup right there. And what we're going to do is Format. Don't forget with formatting, you're going to be erasing everything that's currently on there. Okay, I have some stuff on there, but it's already backed up. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Format SD card. And then give this one second here. And there you go. Your SD card is ready to use. Tap on Done. And there you go. You're all set up and ready to go.